actually why the majority of clinical trials don't, uh, aren't successful, is because you can't recruit. So I think the first thing is, is defining the patient population and making sure that your sites have an adequate patient population to do it. Because it's expensive to do clinical trials. There's a lot of compliance issue, regulatory issues. And um, to have a site that can only enroll a few patients it, in a regular style clinical trial, just a regular randomization schema, is really too expensive. So um, the more all of us have good databases at our sites, like we can pull information out. I'll tell you that um, I serve on our protocol review and monitoring committee, and the number of investigators who think, okay, well, I have, I saw 42 patients with this condition last year, so I'm pretty sure I can enroll 30 of them. And I'm like, you know, you're not that convincing. And if you look across clinical trials, and these are just standard clinical trials, to be able to enroll on a standard phase three or even four study, to be able to enroll 50% of your eligible patients, that's never going to happen. It's usually more in the 25% range if it's a really easy trial to enroll on where it doesn't require a lot of uh, extra effort from the patient. But, you know, 10 or 15% is an important thing. But having the whole team know about the trial and be talking about it from early on is important. 